So I want to say thank you to Media Hive and Disney for sending me down to watch the first couple of episodes of The Acolyte. So I arrived at Leicester Square in London. I'm trying to get some photos. Isla is showing me how to get some photos, but he's running away from some pigeons. And look at that guy. Look at him looking so suave. And there is me pretending I am happy. And here we go once again. We got Isla you know, training Sal how to do some photos, how to take some photos, or how to pose for some photos. And he is doing a phenomenal job. And honestly, Without him, we'd be in the gutter, let's be honest. And I am walking on the red carpet, it feels like an amazing experience once again. This is my, I don't know how many red carpets I've walked on. MashaAllah, look at the boys, I look at you. Why are you looking like this man? Why are you doing this again to me, MashaAllah? How you feeling bro? Scared. <laughs> I'm getting my photo taken once again and honestly, I can't take professional photos to save my life. It looks like I'm forcing everything here. Yeah, I'm crap at it. Here we are sitting down all prepared to watch the first couple of episodes of The Acolyte. Yeah, I think it was a great experience. It's something I wish I could do again. This was an amazing experience, an amazing premiere in Leicester Square in London. And I actually enjoyed what I saw. In case you don't know, The Acolyte is a series which is premiering on Disney Plus June the 4th. And this is a series that takes place towards the end of the High Republic era, which is approximately 100 years before The Phantom Menace. And it revolves around a story about about Padawan and her former Jedi Master and they are basically investigating a series of mysterious crimes. And like I said, I did enjoy what I saw. I liked the set and character designs. It felt true and naturalistic to the Star Wars universe. However, the only thing I'd probably say that needed to be improved on is the acting for some of the characters. I won't say who, but if you watch the series, you'd know what I mean. And it's got everything that you would expect in the first couple of episodes, lightsaber battles, the lore, and I guess a mysterious backstory of some of the characters. But this is a series that you get check out on June the 4th on Disney Plus.